Welcome back to Need for Speed 2022. This is everything you need to know about Need for Speed coming out later this year. In today's video, we're going to talk about everything like the release date, the map, the cars, the customization, and everything the developers have confirmed so far. So sit back and relax. This is going to be a really cool one. If you are excited for Need for Speed, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I cannot wait to play this game here on the channel soon. So let's start things off with the Need for Speed release date. And as you might be able to tell by the title, this year, 2022. A couple of days ago, EA actually had their EA investor call, which happens every single quarter. It's for shareholders of EA to basically get up to speed on everything that EA is working on and how the past couple of months have gone. Well, in the most recent EA investor call, EA actually shared a roadmap of all of the games that they've got coming out this year. It included all sorts of things like F1 2022, FIFA, Madden, NHL, and of course, Need for Speed 2022, which is coming out in Q3. So that means that Need for Speed 2022 is going to be coming out sometime between October 1st and December 31st. However, probably more likely somewhere in November, like the previous Need for Speed games have. EA actually first confirmed that they were working on a new Need for Speed game all the way back in June of 2020 with EA Play. The game was actually supposed to come out last year in November of 2021. However, the developers ended up pausing development of Need for Speed to go work on Battlefield 2042, which, um, I, I, I don't think it worked. All this to say, Need for Speed coming out in Q3 of 2022, probably around November, and if I was to just make a wild guess, November 15th maybe. We also got official confirmation from EA last week about the development team behind Need for Speed 2022. It's a combined joint effort of Codemasters, the same team that worked on Dirt 5, and Criterion, yes they are back, famous for making some of the older Need for Speed games and the Burnout game. Unfortunately, that information is the only confirmed information we have from EA themselves right now. However, there are a whole bunch of leaks that I wanted to talk about. Everything that I'm about to talk about is from credible sources and is probably correct. However, just remember, they are leaks, they might change, so take everything with a grain of salt as always. Let's start things off with this. This is the map for Need for Speed 2022. Specifically, this is actually a development map, so it's split up into all these different sections and sectors. As the name suggests, development maps are usually used for development, whether they're for placing assets, testing roads, textures, and so on. That's what these development maps are used for. They're not actually unique for Need for Speed. This is Forza Horizon 5's development map. Again, split up into all these different sections and sectors. If you ask me personally, this Need for Speed 2022 map leak looks really, really good. It's a massive map by the looks of things, and it's got a little bit of everything from a super dense city on the right-hand side, a sprawling highway, which looks super long, and a ton of open fields and off-roading areas for us to explore. This map is called Lakeshore City. It's a fictional place based off Chicago. You can actually see in the map some of the rivers that are running through the downtown core. So expect to see some of the famous drawbridges from Chicago make their way into Need for Speed. If you haven't played it, back in the day, one of the old Watch Dogs games was actually based in Chicago and featured all of those drawbridges, the massive city, and a ton of off-roading areas as well. It was a super fun map to explore, and I hope the same can be said for Need for Speed when the game comes out later this year. And What's really cool is some people actually took that development map and actually rendered their own map based off that development map, and those look really, really good, so props to all of the people who made these. This map actually feels very similar to Need for Speed Heat map, with like the city kind of in the same place, a ton of like the off-roading areas surrounding it and so on. They've definitely got their similarities, which is kind of a good thing. I feel like Need for Speed Heat map was actually really, really fun. I just hope the rest of the game can support a map like this. Speaking of the other parts of the game, one of our favorite insiders, Jeff Grubb, actually shared some information regarding the next Need for Speed game and what players can expect in terms of the graphics. He said it's photorealistic with elements of anime. Don't know how that works, but I'm gonna read his quote here. He said, you know when you see a car commercial or something like that and there's a car driving around, but then cartoon flames and stuff are flying off of it. That's kind of the aesthetic that they seem to be going for. Nope. 
I, I still don't know what that means. I mean, it sounds cool. I, I, I guess? Speaking about car flames and customization as a whole, yes, Jeff Grubb also confirmed that Need for Speed 2022 is also going to feature customization. I would imagine the same sort of wide bodies, wheels, window tints, slamming your car to the ground and so on that we saw from Need for Speed Heat, but hopefully that stuff can be expanded upon as well. Continuing to secure more licenses for more wide bodies, more rear wings, and customization of more unique cars is always, always, always a good thing. And over the past couple of years, Need for Speed has done a pretty good job about it. So I hope that continues for this game. Speaking of the cars, why don't we talk about the Need for Speed 2022 car list? Unfortunately, we don't actually have like a dedicated car list to go off right now. However, some stuff has leaked for that as well. In this screenshot, yes, you can actually see Chicago's skyline in the background and a Mitsubishi Evo. This video clip also leaked featuring a Ferrari FXXK. It is worth noting that both of those cars were actually featured in Need for Speed Heat and were probably ported over to this new game so the developers could test like driving physics, the roads, collisions, and so on. So although yes, those cars are in some footage, I wouldn't say they're confirmed for Need for Speed just yet. Saying that as well, Need for Speed has always been great about featuring cars that have been in the previous games in some of their newer games, so I hope that continues as well. Another thing that I thought might be fun to actually mention was F1 2022 is actually going to feature supercars in that game. Both games are actually made by EA, so it's very possible we might see those cars make their way over to Need for Speed as well. And there are some very cool supercars. Like this, the Ferrari Roma. This, the Mercedes AMG GTR Pro. And this, the McLaren R R Artura. Artura. I think that's how you pronounce it. Regardless, really cool supercars are coming to F1 2022. I am going to keep fingers crossed that we can see some of those make their way over to Need for Speed as well. Anyways, during that Ferrari clip that I just showed off, you might have noticed up in the top right hand corner, there are actually two currencies. It looks like there's a credit currency, like a regular money system in the game, but then it also looks like there's gold bars and kind of has like mobile game elements in it. Recent Need for Speed games haven't actually had microtransactions built in the same way these ones seem to be, but with Need for Speed 2022 being made by a new developer, anything's possible. And, and it's EA at the end of the day, right? So... Maybe. If microtransactions are to come to the next Need for Speed game, I really hope they don't take over the in-game economy like how they have for other games like GTA, where you're kind of left with the decision either spend all of your money on microtransactions or literally play the game every single waking hour of your life so you can afford one new car. I, I hope that's not the case. There is one more rumor that I wanted to mention also from Jeff Grubb, so it's probably correct. And I know some people are either gonna love this or they're gonna hate it. And that's the Need for Speed 2022 is only going to be available on the PC and current gen console. What that means is the game is only going to be available on the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X. No Xbox One and no PS4. Some people are going to love this because it's going to mean that the entire game is going to look better, it's going to play better on these newer consoles, and some people are going to hate it because they'll need to go out and buy a new console so they can play the next Need for Speed game. Regardless of all of that though, one thing I'm really hoping hoping comes to the game is crossplay. Regardless of what platform I play the game on, I want to be able to play with my friends on PC, PS5, and their Xbox Series S or X. And I really don't know if that's going to be a thing or not for Need for Speed, because some games like F1 don't feature crossplay, and some EA games like FIFA do. I will keep fingers crossed, but... We'll have to see. So that is everything we know about Need for Speed 2022. I am really looking forward to this game. EA is taking it super seriously. Recently, EA's actually been hiring a whole bunch of developers from Playground Games who make Forza Horizon and from the developers from The Crew 2 as well. I don't just hope this is a good Need for Speed game. I hope this is a great Need for Speed game that can rival some of the past games. We will have to see. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. See you then. Bye.